What's up guys? Today we are doing an episode of Thrift Store Finds. You're gonna be in the car with me because I'm lonely. So you're sitting right here hypothetically. We're gonna go through what we found today. I don't really know if I can call it an episode because, well, I've never done one prior to this and I don't know if I'm gonna do one after this, but spur of the moment, let's do it. First off, we got tile. Ta -da. Had two bones, two bucks, two dollars. I didn't pay two dollars. I ended up paying uh, fifty dollars for forty-six bosses. Forty-six bosses, guys. Um, fifty dollars for forty-six boxes of tile, six tile per box. There's your model number if you want to look it up on eBay. But I can sell ten boxes um, for about sixty dollars. So. 10, 20, 30, 40, say four of those, 60 bucks, that's $240, and I have six extra to sell individual, which is gonna leave me right around after shipping, probably about $120, $130 profit, realistically, 240, 130 after shipping, fees, PayPal fees, eBay fees, all the fees, because they love fees, um, but this is money, so, gotta get the money. I got two of these, uh huh. It says five dollars. I paid two fifty a piece because who pays sticker price at a thrift store? <laughs> not not me. Hopefully not you. Um, now, if you look these up on eBay, there's a distinct difference between the ones that are selling for twenty four dollars and ones that are selling for ten dollars, and it's something that you always need to check on ink. And it is, if I can find it, I'm not blind. Maybe I'm blind. Ah ha ha. Ha, depends on that right there. This one is March 2021. And this one is November 2020. And what is that? Do you ask? That is, well, of course, the expiration date for this ink. So I paid $2.50 a box. I will get $24 a box back. Uh, minimum of $20 free shipping. These are super light, guys. I'm sure you've held ink packs before. You know how light a single pack is. Very light. So, I mean, about 12, maybe $13 profit after all is said and done. Not bad. And then I found this. It's an old discontinued jacuzzi control module deal. Thingy, majig, doohickey, mabob. Anyways, these go for about $120 just because they are a discontinued spa part. And if you are one of those lucky souls that has a porch, patio, backyard, or area with a spa, not only do I hate you, but I want to sell you a part. I don't. I don't hate you. I just want to come sit in your hot tub. But I have a. I have a. I have a thing. Paid five dollars for it. Well, I thought it was going to pay five, but the sticker says it's been sitting there for 2017, which is weird. Makes me think there's not many pickers in this area. That's fine with me. But I got it for a dollar, and I will get about 100, 120 for it. So, I mean, cash in your pocket. Uh, we got the tiles, we got the ink, we got the doohickey mabobby for the jacuzzi thing, and we got this guy. Okay, this is about, I mean, this thing is big. It is a door, door swingy, hingy thing, um, but it's brand new. It's an LCN. For those of you that religiously look up everything that people find on eBay because you want to know, it is an LCN 44. GG Roos Thrift Store accepting donations here. Fill a bag, two dollars, clothes, books, movies, knickknacks, and I'm running out of breath. But hey, maybe we'll find something. Uh, not much. Um, two books. That's it. But you're in there. Maybe I don't know. Five minutes. Um, we got this guy. Uh, sells for about twenty bucks. Bought it for two. And of course, books, they just they go into the massive FBA shipments. Um, and a holy Bible. Uh, red letter reference edition, um, Bibles, Books of Mormon, Pearl of Great Price, the LDS quads, um, commentary on the New Testament, commentary on the Book of Mormon, all of those types of books. You know, always scan those. If they don't have a barcode, neither of those had a barcode, um, but we're going to profit about eight bucks a piece on them. And they are under uh, a million rank. So they are like top 8% of all books sold on Amazon. So don't ever overlook those. It was kind of weird. Um, I've been trying to grow a bulk kind of relationship with all these thrift stores, 
Uh, and I asked the lady in there, I was like, hey, do you guys have any, you know, books in the back? Do you guys have pallets of books, crates of books? And she said, yeah, we have a shed filled entirely with books in the back. And I was like, great, do you want to give me a price on all of them? And she was kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, really, do you, do you want to give me a price on all of them? And she was like, well, no, kind of danced around the question and and told me she'd have to talk with uh, another one of the people that work there and they'll have to go through them and um, and this is a small thrift store so and I know they don't scan because I've asked them they don't sell on eBay or Amazon so I don't really know what's going on um, it's kind of weird and I never see really any business at this bookstore slash thrift store slash whatever it is um, so it's kind of weird that they would dismiss someone so easily that wants to buy a large quantity of something that they have. But, oh well, on to the next we go. Yes, we have another one here. We have St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store, USA. They have a lot of words on their sign. Do they have a lot of good things in their store? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Um, I'm going to try and get a recording of the street. Um, no, I'm going to try and get a recording of me actually trying to set up this um, wholesale deal. I'm on good terms, I want to say, with the lady that runs this store, the people that run this store. I've been very friendly for a couple of years. Um, and the other day she mentioned that they can't even give books away. So we're going to see what we can do. Uh-huh. Let's do it. I had a question for you at that moment. Uh -huh. I know the other day you were saying something about um, even the library doesn't want to take books anymore. Right. That leads me to believe that you've tried to get rid of a bunch of books lately. No, I had some um, antique newspapers. Huh. I, for I forget how old they were, and I knew that they've got a department there. Yeah. At the and when I pulled around back, of course, they have a list of different entities that oh. so people would take them to different entities okay that's where i saw the sign are you guys backed up with books back there no no would you ever sell pallets or truckloads of books if you had them like by the pound I'm just curious just wondering a uh, serious question though no i don't have any books at all in that. really uh -huh. wow right um well if you ever did would you ever consider selling them by the because I know like uh, Goodwill and places get like truckloads of books in sometimes. Um, do you go through them or you just want to take it no, plain or just at its face value? Just face value by the pound. I don't know how I'd measure it. Oh, or weigh it rather. Or weigh it rather. I don't have a scale. I don't have a scale. Um, I mean I'd set price per book and just take them by the pallet if you had them. How do they do at the, at the other places? Um, I usually do 10 cents a pound at like Goodwill. Um, so they got a way to uh, weigh them? They have some sort of scale in the back that they can measure them. Really? Um, but I don't... I guess not everyone. That's okay. They're a huge, you know, entity. Um, I figured I'd just ask. Didn't know. We'll get your name and phone number. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I will. When I check out, I'll leave it with you. I mean, we're kind of low right now, but there's been times where we've had a lot. You've just been filled up back there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, well, I will definitely leave my... No, because I don't have room to store them. Yeah. No, and that's... that's Goodwill's the same thing. They got three truckloads of books in, like semi-truckloads, uh, last month, and they just didn't have anything... They didn't have anywhere to put them. Right. So. Right. But, um, yeah, no, I'll definitely leave no, my name No, with everything number. digital now, I don't think people... Are... <laughs> you'd be surprised. Or not near as much, anyway. Not near as much, definitely, but right. you'd be surprised. Yeah. I mean, I love to read, so... Yeah. Hey, well, thank you. Nice. Okay, I don't know if any of that conversation came through, but um, we'll go through it. Only got two books there. Um, we got this guy for 50 cents, um, and this guy actually is 173,000 rank and will sell for about $19. Heck yeah. Those things add up. And we got this origami book that is at a 600,000 rank, which is really good in books. Um, we paid a dollar for it, uh, and it will sell for 15. So, I mean, we'll make about 15 bucks. We were in there about, I don't know, five minutes, less than 10 minutes. Got those two books, and we made the connection. Um, 
Haha, <laughs> which I need to go back and run in and leave my name and number um, so they have it. But the lady did say that uh, if they do get a truckload of books in or if they do get a pallet of books in, they will give me a call. Heck yeah, that's a win, guys. Let's go hit up the next spot. All right, now we are outside of, um, I couldn't find a parking spot where I could get a nice good shot of the business title for you but we're at the mustard seed which is a thrift store here uh -huh, go figure we're going to thrift stores and yeah that's the title of the video uh anyways <laughs> almost said something else there but we'll stick with title of the video that would have been funny but we're gonna go in we're gonna see what we can find we're gonna see if we can set up another wholesale book buying dealio here um, these guys do really good sales these guys also um, have a couple people that work here that also work with the estate sales solutions that hooked me up with all those sunglasses that you guys saw um, it really is all about relationships guys get out there and make those relationships be overly nice to people not creepy but really nice really genuine um, and people will work with you people will want to work with you just because it's refreshing to work with someone nice and if you've worked with the people that make you want to pull your hair out, you know how refreshing it is to work with someone that's genuine and nice. So we're going to go in here. We're going to see what we can find. We got a seat full of stuff here. We got a trunk full of tile. Um, we have some other random stuff back there, some model naval stuff. But let's go see what we can get, guys. All right, so we spent a little bit more there, um, $27 total, and I'll show you what we got. Um, we got three pairs, I'm not gonna pull them out, we got three pairs of Skechers Shape Up shoes. Um, they comp right at $34.99 a piece. We paid $3 a piece, so that is a win. Um, we then got, it's like a laminate ribbon. Um, I don't know what it is, it's new without box though. Um, we paid a, a buck for that and it comps at $28.99, so that's awesome. Um, we got one book that sells for 20 at about a 400,000 rank, we paid a dollar for it. And we got a Tony Llama belt with matching belt buckle. Um, the only downside is it does say Carol on it, I know you can't see all of it, it does go over, it says Carol. Um, but there's gonna be a Carol out there that wants a vintage hand tooled leather custom tony llama belt belt buckle there's the little tony llama symbol right there uh, and there's one on the belt as well but overall oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> and we got these we got a caterpillar l series this one's new um brass belt buckle and um a used caterpillar n series so we got the l series and n series um and these comp right at about 40 bucks a piece 40 bucks a buckle uh, we paid two bucks for one and five bucks for the new one so all in all um it was a good day we got the um wholesale started with one of the thrift stores and they're going to give me a call whenever they get their next truck load in um, we did some picking and I show you guys, you know, all of what we got and really the reason why I do these videos or I want to start doing more of these videos is so you see what I pick out when I'm in the thrift store. You know, you can see the wide range of categories that I'm looking at. You know, we got everything from books to shoes um, to laminate paper to um, 50 boxes of tile. We got this purse, um, paid $5 for this purse. It is an MC handbags, um, hand tooled leather purse with that silver kind of emblem. Really nice purse, um, should get about 35 to 40 for that. So all in all, just a nice day. Um, we got books, purses, shoes, belt buckles, um, door hinge, opening deals here. Um, it's weird, the camera cut out for a second, but all in all a good day, productive day, and I hope you guys maybe look for some of this stuff when you're out thrifting. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hopefully non-violent reactions, you can leave them in the comments below. As always guys, hit subscribe if you haven't already, as it really does help. Hit that thumbs up button so more people can, you know, see us, so we get more visibility on the old YouTubes there, and I will see you all next time. As always, go out guys, kill it. Make yourself proud at the end of every day. Peace.